Hello, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. My name is Mimi Dennis, and last time we did some ether stuff. Notably, we fixed the ether lift, or made one, in order to go to our new area, which uh, we spent a lot of time exploring. Yeah, that last time, we essentially spent the entire episode exploring. We did a little bit, we went over to where it seems to be like Black Mountains or Prison Island, but afterwards, I just kind of explored a whole bunch of stuff because the ether lift opened up a lot of new areas, or at least areas I was curious about. And I unlocked a lot of ether mass, and I unlocked a lot of people. <laughs> so, uh, this episode, I just kind of plan on doing more side quest stuff. It's unfortunate because, like, you know, main story is, like, the meat of it, but, like, there's so much side stuff, and I'm, uh, I'm having a blast. And the first thing I'm gonna do is the old ether furnace. So I didn't actually end up playing since last time, but I did look up, like, what I needed. So it the seems like some of these actually don't work. The thing you actually need is this, the high output reactor. So I'm gonna go farm for these things real quick. So twin generators and wool rock. All right, one thing I forgot is that I forgot to kill these young Vogels last time because uh, I was too busy running for my life against their mom. You got the young Vogel. Oh yeah, I did want to check something here. And by the way, I am not like, immediately doing the ether furnace quest because I'm farming for a wool mite and that uh I'm getting like one drop every cycle and it's taking forever so I'm just trying to do stuff in between but I'm just gonna circle through here and see if there might be a uh an ether wire that I could set up because I don't know how to get down there and it seems like that's that might not be main story which is very odd because you'd expect this to show up in the story because we're going straight to the mountains or prison island. I assume that we're just going to continue from there on. Maybe it's one of the question marks. That would make sense. They don't look about, oh! Do they? Oh, the ether lift. Yes. That makes sense. We have an Agnian incursion here. So let's take them out. We have 11 things to kill. Oh, they're literally parked right outside the camp. I wonder what would happen if I spawned here instead. That would have been scary. We got Agnes Attacker. We got Agnes Defender. No, we need more stuff. Emerald Snow. Gotta keep that in mind. Emerald Snow. Tetsudo Scout. Got. And this incursion is done. We captured the Agnes Outpost, which was actually just our rest spot. <laughs> oh, and there's also a uh, city survivor there that I still can't get to. Emerald Snow. Emerald Snow. That's gonna be in the new region, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that that's at the Black Mountain, so I can't get that yet. But I'll be there very soon. I have this locked in my memory, so I know to go here eventually. Oh, I'm finally done farming for this wool rock. It took half an hour. <laughs> it just wouldn't want to spawn. Okay, we've arrived. If we try swapping out these pots. All right, how high output reactor. This should be the one. Yep. You repaired the old ether furnace. Look, Shulk, it's working. Indeed. That's the sound of a job well done. Now, all that's left is to analyze the machine and repurpose the tech for use in the mobile furnace. Right, then uh, theoretically, we should be able to craft higher quality gems whenever we want. Damn, you guys are wizards. How's that even gonna work? Well, the way this device works is fundamentally the same as the one we used before, but... The technology it uses is very, how to put this, idiosyncratic. It's not something that could could have just come off of an assembly line. I think it's custom made, and it's quite meticulous at that. And for the reason, it looks like it'll be an incredibly useful asset with regard to upgrading our mobile version. Aw, look at Shulk. Well, well, who'd have thought that she'd still be pairing along nicely after the colonies had such a fall from grace? The gem man's invention continued to stand the test of time. What a formidable fellow. Aww. Look at him remembering. Thank you, sir. We'll treat her kindly. We promise. 
I wish I played Xenoblade 1. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of references. You can now craft gems up to rank 5. The derelict ether furnace. Through a process of trial and error, you succeeded in repairing the device. Actually, it was just it was just a trial, or there was no trial or error because I looked it up, <laughs> allowing the party to craft even higher quality gems than before. To me, this was always just junk, but you actually fixed it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> to me, I miss those days sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay, I actually know that reference. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. When Shulk used to use the uh, gem crafting thing, he would say, To me! To you! To me! <laughs> a lot. Let's also turn in this uh, no-pawn coin thing. It'll probably give us an upgrade and then we'll get another quest. Okay, we've arrived. Bubblebee! We've got something for you. Bubblebee, appreciate hard work of friends. Please wait a sec for while Bubblebee confirm. Yep, I'll look great. Please continue to unflagging efforts. Behold, reward that due to friend today. Please make best possible use of. Oh, sweet. Wait, well, okay, we got some silver, I, I guess. The number of Nopon medals, nothing to sniff at. Final goal is almost out of re out, almost out, reach out and touchable. Well, I thought it out. <laughs> okay. If you find any more, please bring to shop with Bobby. Bobby delayed to be working with friends. Oh, okay, now we have to wait for seven. All right, let's tackle some of these uh, exclamation points and question marks. But before I do any of those, oh, there's someone I want to beat up. There's someone I want to beat up pretty bad. I'm coming for you. I'm coming! <laughs> my knees felt that. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually made that jump from there. Oh, that could have been real bad. Alright, I've completed Rex's skill tree because he is broken. I really want to work on him. Alright, I've buffed up my units. I will kill these things and then kill that one unique monster. You will know my name this time. Oh, he's here. This bastard's here. Sworn Protector Hector. The time has come. Oh my god, Rex is almost dead again. But I buffed him up so he, he survived just barely, but still survived. Eh, not anymore. <laughs> I gave Rex so much crit and now he's getting double spinning edge like permanently almost. I am strong. I am now monkey. All right, take this. Oh wait, I used the burst. If this knocks him into rage territory. Oh no, it doesn't get rid of it immediately because he doesn't activate it yet until later. Oh, okay. We're oh yeah, he's super dead. Once we get a break on him, he's done for. Oh, break. He's dead. Overkill! All right, let's see how much damage this does. Let's see. Oh my god, each slash is doing like 100k almost. Woo! That is 3 million damage. Yeah, take that. Oh man. Sworn Protector Hector, you farted on me no longer. Okay, let's start tackling things on the map. So you have this one. Uh, it's blurred out, and I don't know of any way to go either underground or overground here. Like, or any way to make this, you know, not like this. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Let's start from the beginning. So we have a unique monster here that's a little bit too strong for me. And there should be something here, an unknown mass signature. It's behind all these rocks. It's probably a chat. Oh, it's an ether channel. Ether channel 10 out of 13. There's one here as well, but I guess it's underground. But how do I get there? It's probably through here eventually. So I'll leave that one alone. Unless, actually, no, I'll check it. Whoa. Yeah, there's a relic there. I can see it on my map. But I don't know how to get there. Seems to get to come out of that cave, but how do you get in there? Oh, there's an ether channel. Cool. Eleven out of thirteen. Over here. Oh, there's a cave here. I never knew that. Wow. Okay. Cool. Relic obtains. 
Uh -huh. Oh, an art unlock kit. That's great. And that's five out of five. We're here. Oh, I got the relic completion thing <laughs> a little bit late, but all right. Ah, the question mark was an ether channel. Ether, seven out of nine. Okay, so I've done like all, pretty much most of the exclamation points or question marks that are outside of Yesterdale or, you know, Colony 9. So before I do all the question, uh, exclamation points in Colony 9, which are probably going to be quests, I want to see this remembrance and this question mark. Because it's been here for a while. <sighs> oh. That's the kind of name you remember. Heads up. It's, enemy it's a boss. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, that wasn't going to happen I anytime soon. But now we have it marked. And this affinity scene unlocks when we go to the Black Mountains. We have gone there now, so let's see. Oh, <laughs> straight, straight back. Glimmer. What? What is it all of a sudden? A long time ago, I made a decision here that no matter what it cost me, if it's for the people that count on me, if it's to live up to their trust, I'd walk through hell and high water and gladly. So. Why are you telling me this? I just want you to know that you're never alone. Uh, okay. I'm not following. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I've said my piece. That's enough for me. Ah. I'm pretty sure that's what she wants too. Oh. I actually don't know what's being referenced here. I don't remember this in Xenoblade 2. Uh, is it like Adam's grave? Or where he put like the last piece of the Aegis to unlock its full power or something? Or is it someplace else? I don't remember. But I do remember that's, that was a big moment for Rex. Oh, there's some things I didn't beat before because I was too weak. Let's kill him. Oh wow, we got the Unity art thing so that Shulk and Matthew can do this off the bat. <laughs> Which is great for when we get an initial launch. I think we got that from the uh, the farting monster from before. We got Brood Moglum. We got Masra Piranax. All right, that should be most of the uh, monsters in this area. You know, one part I never really understood was like, I couldn't go to like the middle section of this. So I'm going to check this out again. Wait, what happened to a unique monster here? Maybe it flew away? How do you get up here? Kind of lost. Am I supposed to platform using this thing? Yeah, I still don't know. Anyways, let's do all the quests inside of the Colony 9. Seems like we have four, so first one is- Oh, Dylan has new dialogue. Dylan! Ha ha ha! So Clarity was alive. Miracles do happen. I mean, she's got some real metal. She wasn't gonna lay down that easy now, was she? I wasn't worried about her one bit. Dylan, oh Dylan. Someone's not being very honest with themselves. <laughs> Alright, so there's graffiti here, apparently. Ah, here we are. Found the graffiti. Is that a shrimp? <laughs> All right, fess up. Who's gone and defaced local property? Oh, this is not okay. If I found out who did this, I'll teach them the price of this kind of tomfoolery. Hmm, are you sure this isn't, this is just vandalism? Well, it does seem more thought out than just a regular scribble. It kind of hits you, right? It presents itself like some kind of heraldry, much too refined to be the work of an amateur. There's text alongside it too, but I can't work it out. What language could it be? On the high plain dusking, a rune keep, a mere step beyond, the gates of hell sleep. Rex, you know the script? Boss, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it's old Alrestian, no mistaking it. And here's the kicker. I recognize this design. This ain't no random graffiti. Graffito? <laughs> this ain't no random graffito. Mark my words. 
It wouldn't be too much of a stretch to guess that the inscription pointing us towards a place. A place, sure, but what's there? Your guess is as good as mine, but there must be something. Something, great. Can we get anything a little bit more concrete here? If you want to know that, the Graffitis invites you to solve his or her riddle. I don't know who did this, or what their, their game was, but it's clear they've gone to a lot of trouble for it. <laughs> this has got me fired up. I, Rex, accept your challenge. Oh, anonymous scribbler. Having fun there, Rex. Sure am. It's been a while since I've had a good puzzle to crack. Alright, run that riddle by me again. I think it went... On the high plain dusking, a ruined keep, a mere step beyond, the gates of hell sleep. Ugh, I got nothing. High plains, ruined keep, hell! The hint's gotta be there, I reckon. Speaking from experience, this kind of puzzle is mainly a test of patience. Let's, uh, let's take our time thinking this over. If walls could speak. Graffiti hint A. Oh, multiple parts. Uh, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get this, man. Uh, I'm not savvy enough for riddles. I like puzzles, but not riddles. Okay, we walked into another quest. Oh, you couldn't have shown up at a better time. Huh? Am I gonna like this? <laughs> oh, it's the siblings. You're from the city, right? It's about these kids. It's, uh, Finley and Axel, I believe? Um, we want to do jobs too. Yeah, please. I'll do it. literally anything. Oh, yeah, it's Finley and Axel. Well, now, back up a second. What's this all about? They just told you these little ones want to do something for the Liberators, and they won't take no for an answer. Well, well. I appreciate their eagerness, but I don't think we can get children involved in our affairs. Yeah, I think that's a toughie. Right. Let me, so let me get this straight. You two want to become soldiers? No, not soldiers. Uh-uh. Then what? Dad always said that we had to wait till we were grown-ups before we could fight. But I was always helping him out in the city. So I want to do something here as well. Gotta, do, gotta keep doing what he told me to. Because if I want keep doing this, he'll come back. He's got to. Hmm. Okay, I get the picture now. Haven't you got anything you, you, these two could work on? Hold on, are you serious? Don't ask me, ask them. Aw, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Let's not make light of their conviction. I'm sure we can find something for these children to work on if we try. Yes, alright, if you say so, boss. Come along to the command center. We can talk the details there. They're like, yeah, we can do some work. Um, thank you for listening to us. Yeah, thanks a bunch, Un Uncle Matthew. <laughs> eh, don't sweat it. We can stick around for a bit until you guys get a proper task assigned. Got away with kids, hey? The man's full of surprises. Me and Naya were always looking after nippers like these in the city. You can't dismiss them out of hand just because they're kids. You gotta speak to them on their level. Right, I can't fault you there. That all came from Niall. Kids couldn't get enough of her. Anyways, about time we headed for the command center, yeah? Let's get a move on now, Axel. Finley. The junior workforce. They're growing. Oh, it's really nice to see the city. I mean, colony, uh, colony nine without the um tension of, you know, the house conflict. Indeed, proof our search is bearing fruit. Yeah, we're getting a lot of quests as well. Canteen. Rex, you got you got that look again. The one that says you're itching to cook. No, I don't. I was just thinking. Is all. Fit. <sighs> F theory, f th I don't know how to pronounce that, man. F theory, torpedo wrap. You like that one, don't you? Don't know. Never had one, so I couldn't really say. I see. 
I was under the impression that all the use went gaga for it. What are you talking about? How about we gotta ingredients first? Then we can find out if we like it or not. Cooking with Drax Part 3. No, I don't have it complete this time. No. And the last one is Jethro. Oh, whoa. Okay. Okay. Uh, he, he, those are clothes on the ground. I hope people didn't just die and disappear. Is that all from Fallen City people? Oh, wait. Is that all from Fallen City people? Yeah, you don't have to say it. I know nothing will come out. I forgot the voice I gave him. I don't know nothing will come from doing this, but... Now the Remembrance Stones are gone. I want to pay my respects at like this at least, you know? The stones? Eh. Yeah, nothing we can do about that. Mm. If you don't mind me asking, what were the Remembrance Stones? Stone tablets with the names of our fallen comrades engraved on them. They were like one of the city's permanent features. Even after our friends disappeared from the world, the names would still remain uh, would remain there still on the Remembrance Stones. It was important to us city folk. It meant something. Oh, I understand. No, hang on. Huh? Matthew, is something wrong? We're missing a trick here, Jethro. If the Remembrance Stones are no more, then we'll just have to make new ones, right here. Here in Colony 9? No, come on. It takes an enormous effort. How how would we go about finding such giant stone slabs? Yeah, you're right. That's why I thought we could make some substitutions. We could use sheet metal instead. They'd be sturdy and resistant, and transportable if it came to it. To it. They can be porta memorials just until we can restore the city to its old glory. How's that sound? Hmm. Yeah, I see now. For sure. It sounds like a good idea. So yeah, you heard all that, right? Can we put him up in this, in this square? Of course. If it's the will of the citizens, I have no reason to demur. Sounds like a great plan and all, but it'll involve a lot of illock work. You'll need those metal sheets prepared and someone with the skills to carve the names. It's all good. I got an idea about the metal. We'll just need an engraver then. We can look into that for you. Oh, that's why this popped up. Investigate the signals picked up by the X-Reader and find city survivors to help with the Remembrance Stones. Yeah, we found someone who was like, I am a metalsmith. <laughs> exactly what we needed. Okay, well, um, that's all the exclamation points in the city. Uh, I'll start off with this one, the Junior Workforce, because it is already marked. So, let's go there. Oh, there you are. So I've been having a look and I think I found the perfect job for our young aspirants. Really? Really, now be warned, it might take some getting used to at first. That being said, a job's a job, and I expect you to perform it to the best of your ability, understand? Yes sir! Yes sir! Well, don't keep us hanging. What's the gig? Right, there's this new shop scheduled to open in the Central Plaza. They just happened to be a little short-handed, and they told me they've got some work the kids could handle too. Can you ask the proprietor on site for the specifics? I've already informed them of the arrangement. Thanks, you've been an ace help. Axel Finley, what do you say to that to the kind man? Thank you. Thanks, Mister. Ah, uh, it's no trouble. You two work hard, all right. Yes, let's see how the kids are doing. Oh, they're working near the canteen. All right, Liberator Soldier, Colony 9 Supply Off is new. And not a moment too soon, Cameron's told me about you two. So I hear you're gonna help me open shop, is that right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. We'll work hard, I swear. Yeah, just show us what, we, what to do. <laughs> That's the spirit. Right, let's get to your duties. Oh, but before that, I'll need to prep you with a little onboarding. Is that... is that painful? In this here shop, 
We have to manage a lot of different products. I want you to organize the stock for me. Basically, you sort stuff out, and then you put them where they're supposed to go. I'll go through the motions with you now. You think you're ready for it? I'm ready. Let's do it. Yeah, you sold him like a boss, kids. Choose the category to which each item... Wait, belongs to from the given... Op wait, why am I doing it? <laughs> to pass, you must get them all... You must get them all right. But you can keep trying until you do. This is the kid's job. Kelp mushroom is a m mushroom. Yeah, this is right. Oh, no. I was trying to go through the... No. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to continue the dialogue, but it gave me the choices. I got it wrong. All right, I'll be back. Ah, so close. I'm seeing just a few er TNT errors in the categorization. Oh, sorry. Really? That's weird. You're still new to this. And everyone makes mistakes anyways. Let's try this again from the top. Just speak to me when you're ready. I got gypped. Uh, if you're stuck, you can always ask us for input. We're there if you need us. Well done indeed! You put them all in their proper places. I can tell you'll be able to keep good track of inventory. So it's okay for us to help out? It certainly is. And you've done such a bang up job, I should be the one asking you that. You keep this up, and business is sure to be booming. Starting today, we're a team! It's all up to you guys now. Go get them! Thanks, Matthew! You'll stop by when we're open, won't you? Oh, you bet! Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> it's nice to see these struggling kids find something to do. The Colony 9's office supply, I mean, supply office, new, has been set up, offering new products. What did they even give? Like, I think the other one gave accessories, but maybe this will give, like, I don't know, ingredients? Oh, we got an art unlock kit. Yeah, even though it's run by kids. <laughs> run by kids. Welcome, have a look around. Oh, these are ingredients. You know, we have money, so maybe we'll, we should spend some. And maybe when we're at a campfire, we can cook up something. Thank you. We'll be seeing you again shortly, I hope. Oh, uh, we have Finley. We'll probably get her a community thing. Yay, everyone says we're doing a really good job running the shop. Oh, uh, that's great. I don't know what this place would do without you, Finley. We, I got another compliment. That's a new record. They seem to have something to share. I like it here. Everyone's super nice to me. But it'd be even nicer if mommy and daddy came home. They will, I'm sure. So you be a good kid and hold the fort with your brother for now, okay? Okay. I'm a good kid. I'll hold all the forts. Aw, she's so much more cheerful now. It's That's so nice. Are you about to go to work too, Uncle Matthew? Heh, <laughs> sure am. It'll be the job of a lifetime. You look after things for here for me, okay, Finley? Mm, okay. I'll keep things in order while you're away. Good luck. And we probably have one for Axel as well. About restoring the city, um, I want to help too. I'm not totally useless in battle, and I want to search for my family, if that's okay. Of course it's okay. We'll, we'll be counting on you, and if your family's still out there to be found, we'll find them too. Then you have my- then you have my blade. You know what? Maybe we can upgrade some weapons. That'd be kind of cool. We did collect a whole bunch of stuff and last time it was Tetsudo parts. Maybe this time it'll be like something else that we might have already collected. Yeah! Nice! Kavesi soldier armor. Alright, next thing is the luminescent Layla Finn. So this is probably- they- they seem to have like one upgrade material in like every new area. That's fairly common, so maybe I'll just naturally get them. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I can't do this quest yet because I don't have enough people. I have one out of two people. What would happen if I do show quest route? Ah, it's taking me here and cooking with Rex is also in the new area. So I can't actually do them. Ah, okay. It's nice that I'm able to start them even though if I can't like finish them here. I thought it was going to be this person. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, so some of these are in the new area. I got it. So the only one we can possibly do at the moment would be maybe the other one, even though it looks like... Actually, it's we probably can't do it. This this quest with the, um, if Wall could speak, level 49, and I'm not at that level yet, so I guess I'll just pr progress with the main story for a little bit. Explore the new area. Explore. <laughs> I'll also check out the, um, the community tab before we leave, though. Cameron. Ah, the atmosphere has really changed here ever since you guys showed up, you know? Yeah? Changed how? Oh, come on, man. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. Sometimes I can't tell if you're being modest or ju you're just that dense. What I mean is, the mood's really lightened up. You really do make a difference to the people's morale. You think? Well, if you say so, don't mind if I bask in the praise. If you're angling for a reward, you just ask me for help anytime you need. I'll come running. Cameron, up! We understand each other better now, huh? How are those kids managing, by the way? Still keeping business afloat? Yep. They've had a bit of a on-the-job training. I reckon they'll t be raking in the tidy profit soon enough. <laughs> Is that so? Those tykes really have a good head on their shoulders. Better knuckle down myself before they outdo me. Cameron promised me something super exciting when he came to the shop. He said I'm allowed to train with him when I'm old enough to be a soldier. That's some forward thinking you're doing there, little guy. You're putting a lot of grown-ups to shame. Um, Mr. Rex? Hmm, that's my name. What's that funny metal, uh, arrow thingamajig attached to your arm? This? Ah, this here's an anchor. You, you hook it on something solid, and then when you reel it in, you can zip around like nobody's business. When you get used to it, you can play about with the trajectory and then use it to trip up your enemies, or even send them flying. Wow, that sounds so cool. Ha ha ha, now there's a man after my own heart. We'll make a salvager out of you yet, kiddo. We've got something to say to us. Matthew, have you heard anything about mom and dad? Don't give up, Axel. There's still every chance we'll find your folks. You and Finley found each other, didn't you? Yeah, you're right. We'll find them. Right now, I gotta keep Finley safe. What are big brothers for, right? Good lad, Axel. I'm proud of you. Oh, look at that smile. <laughs> it's so precious. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure mom and dad get back here safe. If it gets that rough, you know you can always ask one of us grown-ups for help. We're all one big family here. So, does that make you my big brother, Matthew? You got it. Hey, you wanna call me Matt Matt? No pawns, double name style? <laughs> Okay, Matt, Matt. <laughs> Double name indeed. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I met Dylan earlier. It's such a relief that he's safe. I, I mean, if nothing else, the man's practically a walking armored chestnut. Practically uncrackable. Oh, whoops. Haha, <laughs> that's Dylan to, Dylan to a T. But for the record, I think he was pretty worried about you. Uh, oh, really? Well, I'll uh, bear that in mind. I hear you and Dylan managed to find the missing children. Remember that time you, me, and Dylan all stepped out of the city that time to go exploring? Yeah, we did, all stealthy-like, till Granddad dragged us back home and gave us a proper earful. <laughs> now you're the one dragging people back home, doing your grandpa proud. <laughs> and you can become a pretty good damn, uh, damn good doctor. Guess we both had a bit of a growing up to do, eh? <laughs> Matthew, hey, listen. I got assigned to the city's search and rescue squad. Nice, that's a big responsibility you got there, pal. I know, Jethro, the squad leader, appointed me himself too. Jethro, eh? He's got a good head on his shoulders, you can trust him. If you think he's impressive, then I really need to pull my finger out. We can go speak to them later. Last time I left Colony 9, some fog beasts turned up again. Yikes, uh, were you okay? I was, I didn't freeze up this time, and fought like my life depended on it, because it kinda did. Yes, yeah, boy, you're a quick learner, ain't ya? You keep on like this and you'll have surpassed me before you know it. I better get my act in order. Don't be silly, Matthew. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> because I want to fight by your side. I'll never try to get better than you. <laughs> there's the passion I want to see. If you're ever up to it, there's always a place for you here. Right by me. I'll see you soon. Sooner than you think. Matthew's disciple. <laughs> Matthew, l let me fight too. Let me go with you, please. Mickey. I'm sorry, I'd just be a burden, wouldn't I? I don't even have the Ouroboros power. I appreciate the sentiment, man. We're just gonna have to go it alone just this once. I understand. 
Sorry, that was pretty selfish of me. But I'd like to make sure to hold down the fort here so you guys can fight with every ounce of strength you got. Good on you. I know you got us covered, Mickey. Well, a lot of these are uh, done by step by step, which is kind of interesting. We're over halfway done with the community. We're at 51%. Neat. We need two things here. Painted totem board and a... Hmm. Should I get these now? Hmm. Oh, wait. There's a point of interest here that I missed. Oh, there's graffiti here. Whoa. There we go. It's that symbol again. What's this one say then? Oh, uh, what's this one say then? Hang on a tick. I'm looking. Vertingin... Vertiginous heir. Ancient royal throne. On bare black rock face, standing alone. A very portentous once again. This also seems to be pointed to a location. Vertiginous air. <laughs> That's like saying it's really high up, right? I guess. Bare black rock face. Would likely refer to the place's geology pretty directly. But why would it be a throne in that kind of spot? Well, no point raking our brains about it right here. Let's mull it over while we walk. Okay, we got hint B. Alright, I spent a lot of time grinding the stuff. And now I have... I should have the stuff to be able to upgrade the X reader. So here, we got the totem boards. We can find the, uh... Again, art stuff. I, I don't know what that is. And key item sensor. Oh, volume will be adjusted here as well. But yeah, we've upgraded it to the max. Which is very right. nice because we can complete a community thing for one of them. So, Tiny Tim Tim. Friend have improved X-Reader to max? Wowza! Friend Nicole, true blue prodigy. I think it was in large part thanks to your design plan. They're so clearly and straightforwardly drafted. Oh, friend like that, did friend? Under tutelage of Tim Tim, friend could learn much about draftsmanship and tinkering. Maybe not such a bad idea to become intern of Tim Tim. Unpaid work 50 hours a week, right? <laughs> you mean the unpaid internship with, uh, if I, let's see if I remember, long hours and zero compensation? Uh, well, anyhow, Tim Tim hopes for a quick and fruit conclusion to work of friends. Ciao, ciao, bye bye now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tim Tim's still experiencing deep wellspring of curious towards X Reader device. So been on thinking of visiting Colony 9 on day off. Oh, you can see the no pun dancing in the background. Sweet, I'm excited for you. You'd be more than welcome. But when but when will Tim Tim next have opportunity for a whole day off? Watch you don't burn yourself out, pal. Friends best also be careful. Must keep strength to, up to do what needing what is needing. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh I hate no pun speech so much. Okay, now I think I've done all the side stuff I'm willing to do. So let's continue on with the main story a little bit. So one thing we were looking for, are Emerald Snow, I think, or something like that. So I'll have to keep my eye out for it. Because I need that for uh, one of the ether lines. Whoa, looks like there's an incursion there. Oh, wow, this place is huge. Might this be a survivor? Alrighty. Oh my god, immediate. Ah. Rex is already dead. Alright. We uh, save this one. Okay, maybe not save. City, city survivors, one out of three. Hey, are you okay? I, I want to go home. See the city one last time. Oh no, he's dead. Damn it! If only you were here a little earlier. You got the Dark Volgal. And you know, you weren't doing side stuff. <laughs> Ignea Hill. Oh, there's an affinity scene. We'll also fight this because it's new. Oh, we need to fight these things for uh, Rex's food thing. Alright, we got the Exalted Aureus Biscuit, so we can complete his quest when we want to. But let's see this affinity scene. Whoa, would you look at that? Agnes Castle. Yeah. You still think about going back? 
Plimmer? Ugh, dude. Can you stop with the pitying look? Please and thank you. I was just remembering. That's it, I swear. But... I mean... You were close to homecoming. Ugh, I'd be lying if I said I was over it completely. But I don't want to run away from this. Least... Not anymore. Being around you guys is full of... Frustrations. Not to mention surprises. She's such a tsundere. <laughs> I don't have the time to wish I was elsewhere. Um... Which emotion is that again? Are you feeling angry? <sighs> Nickel. You really need to work on your conversational skills. He's trying his best. Huh? One out of four. Oh -ho! Nope, no way to get that. Wait, no way to get that? What do you mean? We hey, can just... These are oh, oh, uh, uh. All right, we got the black crystal. Whoa, look at that thing. All right. We got a gem unlock kit that this thing was protecting, but got... Oh, Absolutely sent off the side of the world. All right, we got the Zen Zenza Teos. Seems like there was a unique monster, but it kind of flew away. Oh no, there it is. Um, I don't want to aggro it yet. We got the Maint Aureus. This is called the Hollow Canter Haze Room. Well, it's gonna be dead soon. Uh, Rex is gonna die soon because he's got the aggro. Oh my god, this is crazy. You got the Mont Arius. I thought we already got that. I guess not. Oh, screw it. Chain attack, let's go. All right, we got a break. It is already dead. Overkill. Whoosh. All right. We got 1.5 million damage, and we took care of this Hollow Canter Haze Rune. Looks like we can close the enemy PD entry. Close the enemy. Yeah. Whenever I see one of these gates, I really want to take a nosy. Relatable. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what he's talking about. These gates. Ether, one out of seven. All right, we can finally find out what this exclamation point was. Oh, it's a quest with the CD survivors. Let's just go home, Saomi. We're not gonna find anything here. Come, now come on, Heisen. I never took you for a quitter. I remember Saomi was like, you have to change Heisen's uh, status on the community. <laughs> the map didn't lie, you know, facts mark the spot. You just gotta have patience. Where's that stick it at, stick it out a little more out attitude? It's not sticking out any more than the last time you said it. Ah, I really hope Rex's crew don't bump. <laughs> I hope Rex's crew don't bump into us. Can't see how we're going to explain our way out of this one. Better think fast, eh? Then. Whoa, uh, Rex! Oh, hey, uh, and you brought Linka along. Well, what a coinky dink. Ugh. Hello, Sayomi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with the ugh? Is there any way to react to your bestest of all besties? So, uh, you're friends with Linka? Huh? You bet I am. And she was friends with me. It goes both ways, yo. Uh, anyways, what are you two doing here? Ah, yeah, that's right. What about your liberator duties? Linka. I'm so glad you asked. We were looking into these old relics from Colony 9. See? Seems people left them behind. And you know what I came across? A treasure map! Oh yeah? Do go on. To be precise, it's some kind of schematic detailing a building we've never seen before. Well, though we don't have that, the full picture exactly, so it's kind of hard to tell. And that's where you're wrong. This is an authentic, honest to goodness, bona fide treasure map. Or I'm a Google's Vogna. Vogna. Uh, you didn't base that off anything, did you? 
Wow, you're really laying it into me today, aren't you, Linka? But for your information, I do in fact have proof. Because along with this map, wait for it, there was the most official of sigils enclosed. Sigil? Verily, a treasure map and a mysterious item, both bundled together. And you know what that means. What? You think that sigil, sigil majig is the key to unlocking a treasure or something? You know it. It's basically a given, right? So you didn't even know if it's real! Hmm, would you mind showing me that map and sigil? Gladly, sir. That'll be 100G. Salmi, that's enough. It was just a joke. Ugh, chill out, hi. Is it the Monado or something from the first game? I see. This is a map of Valak Mountain. And judging from the topography, I'd say we're not too far removed from the place. It's over there, isn't it? The town of Monero Ruins, or somewhere nearby. What? Really? See? What did I keep telling you? I've been right on the mark this whole time. Doesn't change the fact that we got completely lost, does it? <laughs> Nothing a little grit and determination can't solve. Boss. I can see things going pear-shaped if we leave them to their own devices, so... Yep, better lend them a hand. Very noble of you, Rex. That and... Uh, I need to know what this treasure's all about. See? Your boss understands me, Linka. I'm so glad we're on the same page. Good to have you on board, guys. Oh, and you'll be getting a cut of the prize. You sure know how to rope people in. According to the map, the entrance to the building should be marked with the same same design as the sigils. So that's what we're looking for, eh? Okay, team. It's hunting time. Let's roll like we're out of control. Oh god, Sami sounds like she could be really annoying. <laughs> Snowman's treasure. That's <laughs> Snowman's treasure? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Well, I guess it's time to go up. Oh, we got an emerald snow. We'll have to get a few more of those. Alright, this is my current status. We got 683, 95, 73, and 90. That's pretty good progress. I might actually 100% this. <laughs> this is really fun. Yeah, I feel like it's, I might actually 100% this. At least in terms of the uh, affinity stuff. We got the scape analode. We got the dragon gate. Now we're getting a lot of thunder. So, you know stuff is going on. Tower of Monero Ruins. Oh, we got a fog rift here. Fog rift sealed. Oh, Jesus, this fog rift, this fog beast is really big. Oh, there's an ether lift here. That's an interesting spot. I feel like I'm not going to be able to make it, though. Just a gut feeling. Oh, I can. Nice. Man, Ether's coming in a clutch this time around. And excess in the last game, but now I'm actually using it a lot. So that's an elevator to go up, but I want to see what this is first. Also need to see where the main story is, so I don't accidentally trigger it. The main story is okay, all the way there, no problem. We got some ranged turkins. Alright. And they say Turkin isn't an enemy type. Ugh. Semantics. Oh, huh, there's a room here. Oh, huh, I have no idea how to get there. Dragoon Turkin. Tal. Tal Talkin Totem. Oh, there's an elevator and a thing. Oh, that's what that is for. All right, in that case, I go. We'll go pick it up. I wasn't sure if this ether lift was gonna take me to a new area or something. All right, accessory unlock kit. Relic one out of eight. Expedition elevator. You know, Rex keeps getting the the dialogue, and it's probably because I'm playing him. But it really should be Nicole. Yeah, makes going up that much easier. Whoa, that's a lot of turkins. Uh, okay. 
Ether slide. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, I know there's something there, but I don't know how to get there. What is that? That looks like a rest spot. Why would that be there? Ancient roof rest spot. Oh, uh, there's a there's a Kathy uh, city survivor. Does she work with metal? Whew, I'm so relieved to finally see a friendly face. Good news, the cavalry is here. Come on, we'll take you back with us. I would appreciate that. I've just been on my own for days, just wandering. I'm Kathy. I used to work as an engraver. Yep. <laughs> Sincere, seriously glad to make your acquaintance. We have the metal worker and now the engraver. Kathy has been put into the care of Colony 9. Let's make a note. Alright. So we can complete that quest eventually. But you know, I'm kind of enjoying this new area, so let's not disturb the groove. Okay, we have an incursion with 13 Turkins. Whew, this will probably kind of bad. We got the guard Turkin. We got the range Turkin. High Pike Turkin. Minstrel Turkin. Double spinning, my, edging my way to victory. Enemy territory captured. Oh, that was uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Gotta repair this ladder. Got the stuff. Whoa, that was close too. We only have one white cover. Oh, there's this. Huh. And then there's also the other way. I'm more curious about the other way. Oh, this is an affinity scene. Whoa, that's one of the titans. Over there, you're calling that landmass the Orion Mountains these days. Yes, that's right. I think. Right, right. Mountains. Mountains. Hmm. You want to say something? No, just reminiscing a bit. One time, I got swallowed up by them. That was one hell of a ride. Yeah. Huh? Damn, Rex. You're good. You almost had me there for a sec. Oh, a joke. I get it. <laughs> a joke. Yeah, hey, are you yeah. Feeling okay. Your head specifically. Hey, lay off me. I guess it does kind of sound like a fever dream. What? No explanation. Come on. <laughs> They're just gonna keep thinking you're crazy. But maybe as an old man, it's all right. <gasps> oh, what? Did I trigger something? Dead end. Huh? That's weird. Oh, it's part of the quest. We've been following the map quite closely, too. I was like, this dead end seems really weird. I didn't have the quest uh, notification on, so that caught me off guard. Yeah, it's gotta be right. We got the mockings of the road under the cliff. Better find a way to get down, then. What? Down? From here? Don't worry, we have ether lifts to help us. Yes, but even so, is that really our only option here? What? You scare high? You trembling in your white little boots? Of course I'm scared. What? What I don't understand is how you seem completely unfazed. <laughs> Glad it looks that way to you, because I'm actually this close to peeing my pants right about, right about now. I do not need to hear that, Saomi. I want to uh, want to stay here, then? We can go on ahead. <sighs> the sheer terror ain't enough to stop me when the treasure's on the line. That's a complex kind of bravery. Oh, we have the stuff. We're really running out of black crystals, though. We're using these ether lifts and slides very liberally. But honestly, I feel like if you have this tech, you should, pro you should probably use it. So, like, <laughs> yeah, going down. Oh, that's the same symbol that we saw in Agnes Castle. I forgot. Did I go there? I think I did go there. Yeah, I think I think it was the door to Melia's room. What have we here? Check it. Check it out. This is it. It's the same pattern as a sigil. So the treasure's inside. From the looks of this door, I wouldn't rate our chances of getting it open very highly. So you think, right? That's where the sigil comes in. 
Watch and learn. The sigil's gonna resonate and the door will do this mighty rumbling and then... Nothing's happening. Aw, oh, come on! That was a totally rumbly door moment. I really suggest you take a reality check, Saomi. Ah! Fine! Hi! Give me all the high explosive you got. Dude, you're gonna destroy this entire structure. You want me to blow down the door? I probably do have enough on me. Hold on. Salmi, can you pass Heisen the sig sigil? Huh? Why? Please stop asking questions and do as he says. Ah, uh, okay, sure, go ahead. Is it only Entia or High Entia people can use it? Since she is part of the uh, Agnes world. Um, alright. Now what, Shulk? Now, stand in front of the door. Right. <laughs> we don't want you, Saomi. Oh! What? No way! I thought it might be something like that. Uh, what? But, but how? I don't understand. The mechanisms probably relied on verifying both sigil and biological data of its bearer. It was looking for someone with the link to the race who created the sigil. In other words... Race? I'm afraid I don't follow. Doesn't matter. We got the thing open. Thanks, hi. You rock. Eh. Uh, you're welcome? How would you figure it out anyway, Shulk? Ah, it was just a hunch I had, based on past experience. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work. Ah, I see. Could you guys dwaddle any more? The treasure's right in front of us. Let's move it. Come on, hop up. Ah, wait, don't run in on your own. I should probably put this quest on my thing. <laughs> ah, so this step by, s nope, this is snowman's treasure. Wow, there's, oh, it's a small room, okay. Lalu's temple. I didn't get a clear look. What is this? Uh, I don't know what this is. I, this definitely is something from Xenoblade 1. It's treasure, real, actual treasure of actual monetary value. Got some pests though. Where'd they slink in from? That hole over there, if I were to hazard a guess. They think they can get their greedy mitts on the treasure, do they? Yeah, not my patch, they ain't. Have at them, oh, esteemly authority figures. Oh my god, <laughs> you do all the work. You really are incorrigible. It's all right. Could tell where this was going off from a ways off. All right, they have been taken care of. What do we got here? Ho ho ho, time for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Platinum jewel, oh. Hey, this is pretty nifty. Should come useful in a scrap. Huh, huh? This is, um, not what I expected. What are you talking about? It's valuable treasure, just like you wanted. Yeah, I, I get that, but I was hoping for something with a bit, little bit more pizzazz, more like, like piles of gold or silver. Yeah, exactly. Uh, riches beyond your wildest dreams kind of thing. And what good would that do us? We have no use for it. Oh well. Far be it for me to turn down an opportunity, golden or otherwise. Sorry, but we'll be requisitioning this. It's going straight into the Liberator's collective assets. What? How is that fair? I was the one who found it. Hey, come now. We all contributed here. You should have known how this was going to turn out, Saomi. Alright, you've had your fun. Now how about we get you back to Colony 9 and do some work? <laughs> <laughs> work schmirk! A true adventurer laughs in the face of hard labor. You haven't heard the last of this. Next time next chance I get, Saomi's coming back with a vengeance! You hear me, Linka? You big jerk! <laughs> Ah, hey, Saomi, wait for me! Wow, she's a regular human whirlwind. Hang there, Linka. I'm, I'm trying, believe you me. Oh 
boom, 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 boom. Snowman's treasure. You located the treasure. But to Salmi's utter dismay, Linka stepped in to re requisition the supplies. Salmi has shown, however, that she is not the sort to give up. Shall we go see them briefly? Oh, we got a treasure chest here. Groa Aspar killed. Gem unlock hit. This is probably like the s oh first container. Oh no, it's an egg. But of what kind? A nagel pod? Uh. Oh, it's a arachno. I see. We also got a black shard. We got the gradia arachno. Whoa! 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 There's a big one now. <laughs> I didn't see that crawling here. That one is the um the Radna Arachno. Oh, I see. And we have it in our enemypedia now. Oh. This is oh. An annihilation event was here. I see. We have to use a Wait, we never installed the slide. That means it was already here. Huh. Interesting. Is there anything more I can do on this side? No, it does not seem so. R Raxial, Raxial Lava Flow. Where's the... Oh, jeez. That's a dragon. Um... I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. But let's try to take it out. Oh god, it woke the dragon. No! Oh my god, it's so scary! That's like the dragon that was guarding Riki's thing. Okay, let's see if we can take it on. I'm very certain that we can't, but we'll try anyway since we're already here. Oh, Jesus. Dragon god something. Dragon god Alcar. Oh my god. Why are you only level 46? He is not doing as much as I expected at the moment, to be honest. Slowly double spinning edging <laughs> his HP to below half. Oh, it got toppled! Oh no, it's over. He's done for. He's dead. This dragon god is dragon dead. Overkill! The dragon god is dead. Man, that was, that was a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> It's a dragon and a god! Come on, man! Oh, 5.5 million damage! That's a new record! Hell, that was hard to get even on the base game. And I'm only level 40 something. Dual Igna. Igu symbol. Alright, um, this area was so much more doable than I expected. Oh my god. <laughs> I think, it, I think it was optional too. Oh wait, there's an ether channel. Forgot about that. Man, they're really making it so that we need a lot of ether in this. And I really like it because it makes it more valuable. At least than it was in the base game. I think ether was only used for fabricators, like just opening them. And uh, crafting high tier gems, which could be useful for some people who want to, but I just never did. Uh, there's an ether slide here. Mount Nagul's viewing deck. No way. We're crossing this. Oh, wow. So there's something here. Oh, Jesus. What's that? It's an intervention. Save the underdogs. All right. He saved one more city person. City survivor. Three out of three. Nice. Looks like we got here in the nick of time. Any injuries on you? Huh! You don't have to bother. I was doing perfectly fine on my own. Ah, uh, yeah, all right, mate. You're welcome. You, you want? You sure you want to take that tone with your fe fellow citizen? Well, well. You're from the city too, are you? I am, and thanks. And thanks for taking it on board. Come on, let's get you back to our base. What base is this? The Liberator's base. You coming with or not? Uh, sure, why not? Anything to aid the city's revival. I'll grasp at whatever straws I find within my reach. 
Ah, more cooperative than I thought. Cummings! I got their name. Alrighty then. More people back to the city. So this ether slide will take us towards progression, I believe. I mean, not all the way, but pretty far. So let's make it. All right, we have all the stuff. We'll have this up in no time. DIY. And before I continue, I want to try this platforming section. Hey, first try. Nice. There's supposed to be an exclamation point here. I don't know what this is. Well, uh, first of all, ether channel. Three out of seven. And there's this thing here. Oh, it's an instrument. Huh? What's this? It's a lute. A variety of musical instrument played by plucking the strings. Lute? Hey, doesn't it kind of look a bit like Glimmer's Blade? Is this also a weapon? <laughs> nah, see? You're used, to, you're used to instruments of destruction. Whereas this thing's only an instrument of, uh, music? I think the easiest way to explain would be to play it directly. But I fear I'm not qualified. It's broken anyways. See the strings are missing? So, um, can I take this loot thing? Huh? But you heard him. It's broken. Yeah, I know. It just seems kind of a waste to leave it lying there. I don't see the harm in it. I don't see the harm in it. And who knows, we might even be able to fix that at some point. In fact, isn't there some shop that, in Colony 9 that sells loot? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Is there? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I think I remember something like that. Cool, then I'll be sure to stop by. Unstrung loot. A melody sustained. Huh. That was a really random ass quest that kind of came out of nowhere. The Argon Cathedral Ruins. Smash them up. Incursion. Oh, Jesus. It's kind of interesting. I think we still got to where we need to go. Even um, without using the ether wire. Oh, there's a relic here. Because like the ether wire took us to um Yeah, to here. Yeah, the ether wire took us here, but we just kinda went across here. So um we didn't really lose out on anything, I think. Affinity growth unlock kit. So yeah, the ether wire would have taken us there. You know what? Let's go there and see. Yep, just through the front grate front gates. I thought that would be a landmark. But I think I've done enough for today. I'll continue a little bit here next time and then um you know submit in all the quests that we completed. So yeah, we did a lot today. Um we didn't really do any main story, but we had progression, which is, you know, better than nothing. And man, this this place is big. <laughs> There's also an exclamation point here. And oh, look at all these look at all these question marks. I mean exclamation point quest things. Whew! But all that was pretty fun and dandy. And we'll continue with the, everything else next time. And until then, I will be seeing you. See ya!